you call a dog magician? A labracadabrador. And this is Balloon Animal Lesson number 63. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and today I want to teach you how to make a dog that swallowed a ball. This is a really fun design because you get to put something inside the balloon and people are impressed when you do that. It's a little complicated, but with practice, anybody can do this. You'll need two balloons, one color for the ball, and another color for the dog. And it helps if the color that you choose for the dog is transparent, that way you can see the ball. Let me show you how to make it. We're gonna start with our ball. Get the 260, whatever color you wanna use for your ball, and inflate it just a little bit. Let some air out so you can tie it easy. We wanna twist a bubble right on the end, and we wanna keep it smaller than the width of the balloon. The reason for that is we're going to push that bubble inside. So if we take that, we can push it inside. That takes some practice. Now if you give this balloon a squeeze, it'll make it a little easier. You're going to want to twist this balloon on this side of the ball. And then you want to pop it right there. You'll notice I haven't taken my finger out yet, so now it's like stuck on my finger. That's good because that means it's not going to come undone on you. Now you can gently remove it from your finger and it will seal itself so you don't have to worry about tying it. Next, get your clear color balloon and you want to inflate it about two thirds of the way. Let some air out so it's soft. This being soft is really important. Tie it. Give it a nice stretch. Now you get your ball. We're gonna take our ball. We're gonna put it inside just like we did before. But this time, instead of breaking it from the outside, we're gonna break it from the inside. It's a little difficult. We're gonna take the ball, we're gonna push it inside. To keep this from coming undone, I'm gonna give it a squeeze. And I'm gonna turn this one around my finger. You can see right here, it creates a little bit of a seal. That keeps it from like just spring loading outside. Now this might have gotten tight again, so I'm gonna give it another squeeze. Now comes the tricky part. I wanna break the balloon that's around my finger, but on the inside. So I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna dig my finger in and pull it out. And you can see there's a little bit there still left inside. And I'm gonna pull that tight. Now the ball's loose on the inside. That takes a lot of practice. Once that's done, I can let this slowly come out. I can twist it on the other side of my finger, roll it down. Now I can tie it again. And there we have the ball inside the balloon. How cool is that? Now we just make the dog like we always do, but you wanna keep track of where that ball is. So we're gonna make the head, a small section for the head, maybe about two inches. Same size for the ears. Do two ears, also about two inches. So these three here should all be about the same size. Because we broke off some, the balloon's a little bit shorter. Because of that, the dog is going to be smaller. So it's good to make this a small dog. Twist this section here into this section here. And there we have our head. Now we're going to do the same for the neck. Just a small bubble. Two small legs. There we go. They should be about the same length. Now we're going to twist this section into this section. Now I'm going to push the bubble for the ball down, and I'm going to twist it, trapping it inside of the body. Now this one's a bit longer, so I think I'm going to turn this one into a dots in this all little ball. So I'm going to go down a little bit, a little bit more, there we go. Because I have just a little bit left, I can do two legs and a small stubby little tail. Give us a squeeze, twist two more legs about the same length. There we go. Awesome. So now we have our two legs. We're going to want to twist this section into this section. And there we have our dog that swallowed a ball. How fun is this? That's pretty cool. Now we have our art to do. As always, I like to keep the art very simple. I draw a large circle right at the front of the face for the nose. And then I do two small circles on either side of the nose, higher up on the face for the eyes.
Then I do an arch over each eye for the eyebrow. Then meeting at the knot in the middle, I do an arch for the mouth. And there we have a fancy dog that swallowed a ball. And this is a really cool technique that you can use for a lot of different things. You can make googly eyes and put it on your sculptures, or you can even make like a little baby rattle where they spin whenever they fall. I've given this to a kid and they just keep doing it all day. This is like a free babysitter right here. Though I don't recommend you leaving your child unsupervised with a balloon, that's dangerous. Can't believe I actually have to say that. But that's how you make a balloon dog that swallowed a balloon ball. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to click like if you like it. And if you want more balloon stuff, subscribe to my channel. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more balloon stuff, check out my website, balloon-animals.com.